Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and in today's tutorial, I will talk about the detail view inside SOLIDWORKS drawing. So, so detail view is basically used to uh, show a small portion of your drawing which is uh, basically an enlarged version of the small portion. So let's say you want to put emphasis on certain portion of your drawing and uh, you want to give more detailing on that so there comes the detail view uh, in action so to use it you can go to insert drawing view from there you can select detail view or else you can go to detail view from view layout and as you do that you'll be prompted to select uh, a region so it basically says please sketch a circle to continue view creation you will be by default given a circle so that you can create a circle around your drawing to get the view so i'll do a circle okay that is set so you can do this like that okay so let's escape that for once go to detail view again and this time i'm going to select it from here or you can select it from center so let's go for center and let's say you want a detail view up to here once you do that you'll be uh, given the detail view of that particular area so you can place it anywhere on the drawing sheet you place it somewhere here and uh, you'll be given all the details so this is detail C and uh, we have an uh, enlarged version an uh, enlarged view of that particular area so we can put more uh, details on this uh, so that the manufacturing can be done uh, one thing that we can do is if i select my detail view we have all these different options so we can go for broken circle go for with leader all these different options okay we can have our own profile so let's say we can create some random profile and instead of circle we can do that also also we can change the name so we can change it to any other name let's say a b c anything we can have no outline we can have full outline do full outline the circle will be included you go for jack line you'll get something jack like this you can change the intensity of the jack lines then a scale hatch pattern if you have i don't have hatch so let's skip for that for now we can change few more options and go for annotations all those different options we can use different view style or you can use the parent style you can change the scale so you can use the parent scale you can use sheet scale or you can use custom scale let's go for one is to choose to one you can change the dimension type if you have and all those different features this uh, detail view is very useful when you are uh, going to put emphasis on a certain region of your part just like this uh, that's it for the detail view i hope you guys like it and if you have any doubts with this one feel free to comment down below i will see you guys in the next tutorial peace out